Namaskar. You probably read today's article in pgurus.com detailing more assets of Karthi Chidambaram being attached by the Enforcement Directorate. Today it was the coffee estates in Koorg area. I don't have pictures of that particular thing, but I do have pictures to share with you of all the other properties that belong to Chidambaram's and some of them have been attached as part of the INX media. Some are still open. So I'm just going to share all those things with you. I've done a fair amount of research on this. And uh, I also thank a couple of other journalists who have uh, compiled some data. All that references are there for you to go and look at more details. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, this is literally the tip of the iceberg. It's just one case and somehow the enforcement Directorate has attached these properties. So here we go. What you have here is a collage of various properties that we try to make it look like, you know, these are all the different things that are owned by the Chidambarams. And let's take a look at some details. Here is the first one. This is in Somerset, United Kingdom. This is a place called Surridge Farm. It's a fairly big place. And you, as you can see, it's very picturesque. And you can see here actually a picture of Mr. Karthi Chidambaram standing in front of his property. I mean, this is as damning as an evidence as it ever gets. So here you have Mr. Chidambaram also. And this is the other view of the same place, Saraj Farm. And here is an interesting place. This is Cambridge University campus, uh, Ceres 29 Mead House, Cambridge. And you can see there, I have shaded off four properties. So this is sort of, I think, like uh, accommodations for students. And th there are more details in the links that I'm providing you. And you can go and read it up. But all those four are also uh, the Chidambaram's uh, properties. And here you have one more, five Holman Close in, in Barton, Cambridge. Again, another place which they own. Here is an Uti bungalow. This has also been attached as part of the uh, INX media case. This I know for sure. And then uh, this, I don't know where this Kuladia is. This is a place that, uh, again, some research needs to be done, but is also attached along with the others in um, the INX media. And this is the Tennis Academy in Spain. And you can see the gate. Uh, we don't have inside view, but this is also another property that the Chidambaram zone, and this is also has been, this too has been attached as part of the uh, INX media case. So you, you, you get an idea of how many things that this person has owned. Again, this is just a small set. There are 21 bank accounts, 14 countries, and all those bank account data is given in another our article that was the first one that came out I think uh, March 2017 that's when uh, P Gurus came out with this it's called as Chidambara Rahasya a lot of people have given us grief for saying that look Chidambara Rahasya is such a deep philosophical thing why are you trying to equate that with uh, an ill-gotten assets of Chidambaram it's a catchy phrase that's all I can say uh, didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings but Clearly, this is still the tip of the iceberg. I don't know why, why I keep repeating this. It is important that this is nothing but a drop in the ocean. When is the Modi government going to confiscate all the other properties? There is big, big data still out there. We haven't seen anything done with many of these uh, bank accounts. By now, this see, our article came in 2017. By now, they would have moved all these things, closed all of them. The guy went and made several trips and the guy has a cheek to even ask the Supreme Court, look, one time the Supreme Court said you have to put a deposit of so many crores before you go abroad. Then he goes abroad, puts the deposit, goes abroad, comes back and then files a, a petition saying that I want interest on that deposit that he put. <laughs> Guys think that Supreme, Supreme Court is something that they can just keep on going and teasing. Chidambaram also has put some frivolous petitions in front of the Supreme Court too. All this just goes to tell you this family also is full of hubris and the sooner you start uh, you know, attaching them. In fact, I'm still surprised that Mr. Chidambaram is not in jail. Karthi Chidambaram is not in jail for all these uh, INX media assets. I mean, even if you take one rupee bribe, right? If it's proven, it's proven. Doesn't the, doesn't the enforcement directorate now have teeth? Why are they not arresting him? I don't know. This part, nobody answers. Clearly, that is one of those things that 
the Modi government doesn't want to do. Whatever it is, at least I'm happy that some justice is being done. And also we wait to see what more is going to happen. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications.